but yeah, it not- was a. I don't think we were ever. I don't know how to word this without sounding like an ass. I was really never worried that I wasn't going to get over it. Well, like I, I never really like if my fever would have stayed another day or two, then I really would have been worried. But with my fever coming down when it did, you know, at that point in time, I was like, all right, fever's going down. You know, well, the, I mean, everything else sucks. But well, you thank know, God for um, the most part. I mean, we're all, with the exception of your oldest daughter. I mean, for the most part, you got everybody's very healthy. You know, right? Very healthy. Thank God. So. I mean, it's easier to pull through. It's just that when elderly and people that have other conditions, you know, right? Yep. It, it, it's hard. I mean, and that's why I said, you know, K Dog was very fortunate, him and his family, and we're grateful for that because we can continue to talk shit on the mic here. Oh yeah, definitely. I've but, been missing. I've been. I've fucking been jonesing for some mic time. I know he he but, wanted to share this experience uh, about a week ago, but I I, I told him I I can't right now. I'm dealing with the loss of well, actually, right, he, right. Well, but, you know, it, it's kind of like uh, I I got through what I had to go through, and then right when I was at the tail end of it, whammo, his uncle gets sick. It was just yeah, it was like it's what? been a rough couple of weeks. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what's been going on with us, like I said, but we're putting on a brave face and we're trying to, <sighs> God, I hate the word positive right now. <laughs> well, you know, because uh, you tested positive, this and that. I hate the word positive, <laughs> but trying to have a good mental outlook, you know, keeping a positive. Well, we're up. also accepting the idea, you know, we're accepting the fact that, you know, if anything, these last couple of weeks have shown us, don't get comfortable, motherfuckers, because you don't know what's coming. Pretty much. Call Pretty- your loved ones and fucking say some shit to them, you know what I mean? And, and, and don't be like I I had been, where, you know, I'd drive, be driving down the road, and I'm like, hey, I, you know, I really should contact my brother. I really should contact my sister. And then, you know, you get into the day and day-to-day, uh, you know, things that you normally do, your grind, and then it just... Slips up and you never end up calling them. You know what I mean? So definitely more than ever, like I said, yeah, we encourage everyone to, you know, call your loved ones. Um, Whatever. If you got issues, you know, put that shit aside because, you know what, fucking life's too short. Or maybe it's the time to fucking, you know, open it it. up and be like, yeah, squash, let's squash this shit, you know? Yeah, squash Even Even if it means, like, you going in, you know what, Uh, maybe I was wrong. Even if you weren't. Just by you saying that, that could squash some shit, you know what I mean? Be the bigger person, you know? And uh, when you're being the bigger person, don't be an asshole about it. Don't be like, well, okay, dog, I'm going to be the bigger person. Right, (laughs) right, right. And I forgive you. (laughs) You know what I'm saying. Anyway, that might be the fireball talking. Oh, and uh, we do have one. There has been a silver lining throughout all of this. Hmm. There's been something that I've been following uh, because I have had time on my hands. Hmm. This uh, Save the Devil campaign that we have been talking about has gained some serious traction. Yeah. Even Donna Free is on board, right? Yeah, and so uh, Agent Coulson. Hmm. Yeah, he even posted out there saying, we need to save the devil. Wow. I tell you. Yep. Well, when, like when I said, Agent Coulson, uh, you're right. Oh. Well, while we've been out on on, a, on our time out here, a lot of shit's been happening. You got the save the devil thing picking up traction. Uh, yep. And uh, on the other side of, uh, well, that's Marvel. On the other side of the, what is it? Magic Kingdom Empire, whatever. You got the Mandalorian who, uh, I don't know. Well, you know, you I've, know? Only, I've only watched uh, three episodes of the new season. Oh, fuck. Really? Y- you're going to booger well, hug me like this, motherfucker? You had time listen. and you haven't been watching it? No, I've... Uh, okay, the internet, already fu- the internet already spoiled this. You you know the child's name, right? Nope. Where the fuck nope, have you I been? Need... No, I've been in the Ronaverse. Yeah, but that doesn't stop you from watching shit nine <laughs> times out of ten. 
What? It shouldn't, but I've been my 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 daughter's been wanting to watch it with me, and uh, well, uh, God, man, you suck. Uh, <laughs> all I'm saying, if I'm saying anything, we've had, like I said, there's you. W- the child has a name. Uh, Rosario Dawson debuted as Ahsoka Tano. Man, I miss it so damn much. Dang, it's uh. What have, what have I been doing? What have I, what have I been watching? Uh, I don't know. Porn. Fuck me, running. <laughs> no, I haven't even been watching that. Um, uh, jeez. Let's see. We watched. I've been watching Blacklist. That's what I've been watching. I started watching that today. I'm one I've episode been wa- I've been into watching that. that. You know what, I, bro? I, you are not even ready. I can imagine. I, I I watched the first episode, and I'm trying to figure out where have I seen this dude before. Where have I seen you know the the Hannibal Lecter FBI guy? <laughs> that's the that's the the take I I get on that. Uh, what do they call him? A red? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He remind me like they. He's like Hannibal Lecter, but in a different. <laughs> In a different level, but uh, Dude, and, he's crazy. And he then so fucking crazy. Then I remember the movie The Watcher. It's a Keanu Reeves movie where Keanu Reeves. Yeah, that came out in what the nineties. Yeah, Keanu Reeves is like a, a a killer, a serial killer, and this guy is um, uh, I don't know. This guy is the cop that uh, okay that's trying to catch him. I was like, he looked familiar, but yeah, I started watching that today. Funny enough, uh, I'm like, oh, that thing's got seven seasons there. That should keep me, give me something to watch while everything else. Uh, and it's it's still going on regular TV. Damn, that's that that's some good shit. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I I finished. I watched the last season of Agents of Shield. Oh, such a good ending! Holy fuck! And. Uh, that, that was so you, you're all done with it then, right? Yeah, I'm all done with it. So I mean, th- there's. Th- did you did you like the? I don't want to ruin it for everybody, but did you oh, like the way shit. they ended it? Fuck this shit! I mean, they, life is too short. You know what? <laughs> did I like it? Uh, it, yes and no, but it can't. I guess it kind of sets it up for the next step, Agents of Sword. Right. Yeah, so, um, so well, see, I liked it because a it gives you closure. Yeah, it, but it, I didn't like it because I think it felt kind of rushed. Well, yeah, I mean they they went from uh, it used to be what like twenty two something twenty two episodes per season to now like what thirteen, and yeah. th- and this one was even shorter, right? Yeah, I think it was. It, it's because before they had time to develop the story, take you for a ride, and you know. But now it's like 13 seasons. Come on. Or less. They really took us for a ride with that show, though. Yeah. I mean, all over the fucking the universe, literally. Yep. I mean, I'm kind of disappointed the Ghost Rider never made it back. But that, I mean. Yeah, that, that, that kind of cool. disappointed me a little bit. I did enjoy that character. But I, I, uh, I don't know. I kind of would like to see a spinoff, you know, on that. that that'd be cool. But I don't know. We'll. They got other shit uh, in the in the makings, I guess. Like a John, yeah, they got a lot. Another Johnny Blaze uh, Ghost Rider. Yeah, weren't uh, they talking to Keanu Reeves about that? Yep. That's why, like I said, hey, well, I, I'm down. That'd be interesting. I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. So I, li- I like that idea. Yeah. So, as you can see, we're what what. I want to let's see. Besides the uh, Marvel and what shit we've been watching, there's been other shit, man. Well, dang the 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 Mandalorian thing, but I can't believe you're not caught up, man. That 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 is some fucked up shit. Yeah, I uh, well, oh, and uh, yeah, I don't have no excuse for not catching up on that. I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know what like. Anyway, I was trying to make one up, but I you just, know, uh, I, I don't have one. Another thing before I forget, because Pato's getting old and I have a tendency to forget shit. Big ups to uh, John and the real, the really good show. You know, 
December 2nd, uh, a couple of days ago, uh, we, we, we posted it all over our social media so you could hear it. Oh, yeah. We were on his show, and uh, wow. It, did, did, have you heard it yet? I started listening to it. It's um, crazy. I remember I couldn't hook up uh, my through my usual mic, so I had to use my, my phone to – and I was like, oh, yep. gosh. It, that was a crazy day. I was tired as fuck, but you know, all in all, you know that that that, that was pretty good, man. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a really well done uh, episode, and, and I look forward to to do possibly doing more with him. I think I think we hey, could probably arrange something like that. Hey, that I'm all I'm all for it. You know, hey, now that we've learned to use uh, the Zoom a little bit more. <laughs> Boy, isn't this crazy all the shit we got to learn because of the fucking Rona? Like, all this new shit. Well, but not just because of the cool. Rona. I mean, because of the podcasting. I mean, right there in that show, uh, we talked about how you... I mean, and we've said this before. If, you, if you're if you an old listener, you know this. But if you're just tuning in, uh, K-Dog's had this crazy idea since way back in the day. And way back in the day, the technology scared us. It was a lot harder. Now it's easier. So. Yeah, it still does. <laughs> well, I mean, for the most part, but it's a lot easier now. I mean, a lot of it is point and click shit. I mean, you yep, know, most of it's point and click now. So point and click shit. They 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 do it for you. So um, yeah. No, nah, but not nah, that. Okay, that's just what I wanted to get that out. Big shout out to the really good show, John, and you know his partner, which too. in and by it, it just in and of itself is a really good show. You know, like it, it's yeah, a really hey, good podcast. They named it right, so uh, like I said, uh, we'll we'll probably like it's in our links. You know, we'll we'll, we'll probably add it in case. And uh, like I said, we put it on our social media. You you guys should be able to check it out and listen to that if you haven't already. Which is kind of cool because we hadn't recorded anything, and I we started putting it on our social media for just you know to give you a little cursory overload yeah a little uh look into us who we are you know yeah we still have because it, it, it is a little different than our normal well i know yeah very very quietly very subtle he he asks generic questions as he says that become deep <laughs> really and, deep and then yeah next thing you know yeah it, it's a good thing uh anyway uh it Okay, well, okay, we were going off on Marvel and stuff, and I really wanted to, like, uh, blurt out Baby Yoda's name because, uh, just because, but since you haven't watched it, I'll I'll be good. Well, I've also started my other project going on at, on, at nighttime, too, so that's been some mm. of it. Oh, yeah. How's that going? Uh, it's a lot to learn. It's 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 a lot to learn. Um, it, it's it's kind of it's it, it, it. I don't know. For for all of the listeners, I started. Uh, I went. To, I'm going to CDL school, uh, and it's a it's a ten week program at night, and from like five thirty in the evening till ten thirty at night. And uh, you know when you, I guess the biggest takeaway so far. I'm only in week like three or four, but. I think the biggest takeaway I have so far from starting this program is when you see the trucks going down the road, I guess it, until you're doing it, you don't realize how much shit is going through those drivers' minds at the time. You develop a whole new level of respect for truck drivers once you yeah. go through that program. I, like yep. I said, I, I let my CDL expire a few years ago. I drove for... One of the biggest trucking companies, which I'm not, I'm not, I'm not putting them out there, but because <laughs> you know, yeah, because I, I, I'm tired of hearing the Swift Party of Four. Your shower is ready, <laughs> <laughs> joke. <laughs> but uh, all I'm saying is that after I went through that program and I drove a truck for a while, I learned not to be an asshole when I'm, I'm out in the road. I see a truck, I don't cut in front of them. I I give them their space. Yeah, uh, give them as much room as you can. Yeah, and I always remember that. Uh, I don't know. People used to say this shit and used to like. Well, even even I used to think, like, well, they got more braking power because they got eighteen wheels. Uh, no, they don't. Nope, they got a lot less. Yeah, actually. Um, so far, 
I'm not doing horrible in the class. Um, there's a few things like some of the downshifting is getting a little, oh. I'm having some trouble with. Oh, downshifting uh, sucked. <laughs>